Psychologist and human behavior expert. Family and parenting expert. Education expert. Child psychologist. Host of the PBS program, Let's Talk. Dr. Gail Gross. Dr. Gail Gross. Please welcome psychologist Dr. Gail Gross. Hello there. I'm Dr. Gail Gross. Welcome. My guest today is one of the most popular and recognizable actresses in America, Goldie Hawn. Welcome, Goldie. Thank you, Gail. What was the defining moment in your life? I went over to the piano and, and touched it and that changed my entire life. You know, wow. From there, I said, this is it. You were in the Oscar-winning movie Cabaret, my all-time favorite, and the fabulously nutty Austin Powers. You've gone from drama to broad comedy. How tough is that to do? I think the one thing I'd hate would be to be stuck in a box. When you started at Columbia, what did you start as? I started as anything I could do. And that was really what I did do. I did everything and anything. How did your journey begin, Dr. Bilaldo? I left my teaching position. I left a promising career in academia and exchanged it all for a pair of hiking boots and went to the Amazon. What courage. You've been writing quite a bit about Prozac and Ritalin. Six million kids are on drugs, on prescription drugs. Many times these drugs are being used for remediation, for discipline, and you've been really very vocal in your opinions. We are over-drugging our children. What is the story of King World? How did it get started? The story of King World, by the way, let me just say that uh, I have never done a television interview. I've been in television all my life. Uh, I, I did it because I trust you, I love your work, and you're a great lady. So Thank I'd like you, to start Richie. there. Thank you. I have this dream where all my teeth fall out. I have no idea what it means, but it's incredibly scary. Teeth falling out can be transition and transformation because as we get older, we start losing our teeth. That's death, and then right. rebirth is renewal. Doctor, you know, Thanksgiving is supposed to be this great time and, and a moment for giving thanks. But for many people, it is a day filled with family squabbles. What sort of advice can you give people out there who might be feeling stressed? Have an amnesty, have a forgive and forget kind of moment. And in reality, if you can't deal with the forgive part, because sometimes that gives us feelings of right and wrong, just go with accept. Let's accept and forget. And that puts us in the family spirit. Where do you draw the line between cool mom and totally out of control. Joining me, psychologist Dr. Gail Gross. I'm thinking to myself, going out for shots with mom, I don't think so. But it is happening, isn't it? It is happening. You know, our cultural differences have gotten so much tighter. There need to be boundaries and a separation of lives. Is there an age group that you shouldn't be talking with about these sorts of things? Because we've seen all these stories. They've all been young children, five, six, seven, that sort of age. Well, you know, everything is age appropriate. If we give information to children honestly and within the uh, category of their own age, then it's important always to prepare them. The benefits of divorce, Dr. Gail Gross is here. She's a human behavior and parenting expert. People who marry under the age of 28, right. where they're still in a lot of change and transition, they marry someone who's often based on their early patterns from their own family of origin. How do we get back to reporting the news. Well, I think there's some very good people in politics today on both sides of the aisle. People can work together mm -hmm. like that. We should celebrate that more. What kind of advice would you give young people interested in entering the political life today? The last thing I would say to people thinking about whether they ought to get into politics or not is do it. And you are a true statesman. What is that? How did you get that? My mother that? encouraged her four sons and my three brothers and me, A, to never give up, and B, to respect people. How can we come to a place in our culture where we actually can experience peace? When we have this inner peace, then whatever the outer circumstances may be, that you will, your basic being is not disturbed. 